Hello, Team Bella. Welcome to another edition of Faith Friday. I'm your girl, Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan, and I'm planning out my spiritual routine and my faith planner for the week of October 4th through the 10th. Before we get started, if you enjoyed the videos, make sure you show your girls some love by simply giving me the thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you're currently studying in your spiritual routine. And last but not least, if you've not had the opportunity to join Team Bella, I would love to have you here. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button below and don't forget about that notification bell. And of course, to my A1s from day one, hey y'all, it is so great that you're still coming here supporting your girl. I certainly really appreciate it. Okay, so this week I'm starting with my scripture writing um, portion of my planner, which I do in this line vertical. I've already gone in and I grabbed washi tape from Simply Gilded. And this is from the latest fall release. Came out a couple of weeks ago. And I actually did not order these with my original order. I had to go back because the colors are just so pretty and I thought that they would complement the stickers that I picked out so well. So in terms of sticker books, you'll see me using stickers today from Hello Fall from Live Love Posh. Color Story, been around a long time, beat up and other things. <laughs> and then the ones that I couldn't find in there, find in there I found in this, color, this colorful boxes. Did I say color story? Y'all, this is colorful boxes number. I don't know what, but as you can see, this sticker book is well loved. And then um, what I couldn't find in that one, I found in this colorful boxes that has the copper um, hints in there. I will be using some doll stickers. These came from Red Lyric and these are called Girls with Hats Brown Skin. So I thought I would use one of these three because it's fall and nothing like a cute hat in the fall. All right, I have pre-pulled my stickers this week and these are the stickers that we are going to use. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but it's all right. Um, as I was pull it, putting this together, um, and doing a double take, I decided to change something up. When I originally put this down, I didn't have my washi down and everything, but I was gonna cover up the October, but then I was like, why should I cover up that October when the October is green and can match with what we have going on? So we're going to just take this sidebar sticker we're going to put here. So what I've been doing with this sticker is, um, writing down a scripture from our congregation Bible reading. Um, but I guess if I have a, fib a favorite scripture from my examining the daily scriptures, examine the scriptures daily um, reading, I can also write it here to help me memorize, right? For me, um, in order to remember, sometimes I need repetition. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is put down this gorgeous pumpkin and the way I'm going to lay it, because there's a lot of white on this sticker, um, I'm going to try to trim some of that off. I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll be right back on. I have some just some little precision scissors and I'm just going to cut some of the white off. All right. So even though because I don't want to I didn't want a lot of it coming up into my writing space and see, I'm OK with just slicing this area off here. All right. So we'll just slice that excess off. It shouldn't look bad because it shouldn't be, if any of the pumpkin, very little. All right, so as you guys know, I need all the writing space for this planner that I can get. So I thought what would be cute is to come here and alternate the days that I put these stickers. And these are, I will write the actual physical scripture down on the days on these days so every other day I'll still write them here in the white spaces but this is just to bring all the colors in so this pinky color I figured would match with that kind of um, rose in that pumpkin arrangement down there so that's what we're gonna do just bring this right along here and then put this orange just a little off a little light but I think it's uh it, it'll work all right so that's that all right, so there is a sunflower here, and I typically always have a flower, I know, in the middle. So this is going to be no different. 
and we're gonna just kind of lay that there and lay that there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then I thought it would be cute to come through and kind of like put these leaves in various places on the spread. Um, let's see. I wonder, and y'all know I'm, I like to cut stuff in half. So see if I can cut this in half and use this leaf various places where people can tell it's a leaf. I want you to be able to see it's a leaf now. If I'm putting it down and don't look like a leaf because of how I cut it, that will make me disappointed. Okay, that will be a very moved point to do that. So let's do this and cover that up. Okay, I definitely like this green and um, I don't know, I think that I could kind of bring this one over in this direction. I don't know, I don't know. I have multiple ones, but I also could come up here if I wanted to be more festive or even down here on the bottom. Let's see. How would that look if we added leaves on the bottom? Looking like the leaves are just blowing in the wind. I think that this may work. Um, let me grab some more leaves and just fill the bottom there and I'm fine with that. Um, okay, so we can use some of these smaller leaves if we wanted to. I think like instead of taking this one and just putting that one there, we could totally come and okay, so we got that one upside down. Let's do this one right side up. I want this one here. Okay. And I think this little light yellow one, this one's smaller. So, oh, this one's pretty. That one's pretty. So let's do it like that. There's not a whole lot of green leaves in this thing, but all right, so we got that top. So what if we come here and get the, like the side bottom of that. And then we have this yellow one that we can put here to finish off what we're trying to do. All right, let's do some slicing and then I'll get my X-Acto knife and see if um, I need to cut off any more. I am apologizing for all the, somebody is getting their lawn done on a big fat Wednesday. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. And then some of them I will be taking my X-Acto knife and just chopping part of it off. So I guess the neighbor across the street did not get their lawn done on Saturday when everyone else did. Because I got my lawn done on Saturday. And why they're sounding like they're in my yard, I have no idea. Okay. All right, so I'm going to come with my X-Acto knife and try to chop those things off right there. Well, at least the big ones, like this one. I'll chop that one off. The rest of them, I think, are okay to be where they are. Okay. So let's just come here and let's chop this off. Okay. Nice. All right. I am feeling it. 
All right, so that is for my scripture writing. I'm all set to go. Next thing I have planned out is my weekly congregation um, Bible study. And we are reading uh, this week, the 4th through the 10th. We are reading Joshua chapter 8 and 9. So as always, I invite you guys to come join me for uh, that Bible reading or join me with it. We are going to learn lessons from the, Gib the Gibeonites and how they showed pract practical wisdom and how they humbly served the Israelites. Um, and some of the tasks that they performed were very menial or humble tasks. So we're going to deep dive into that um, next week. You know what I forgot to do on this one? I did want to add, even if it's right here, that babe right there, she's cute. All right, now coming here, of course I have our stickers all picked out and we are going to do placement a little different this week. Um, I haven't had a big sticker, floral sticker down the middle in a minute. So we're gonna start with this sticker coming right here in the scene okay that works perfectly and then we're gonna get this other one we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so and I'm trying to be careful because I have been known to rip a sticker or two so we're gonna come right here in the same exact spot on this side and lay this sticker okay now I thought that this sticker would be a wonderful place to do like, I can write Joshua eight and nine in that area that's white. So I decided to put this sticker right here. And then <clears throat> on the corner having, and I'm probably gonna just chop this off straight so I cannot, so the white cannot show on my sticker um, and put that leaf right there like so. So it looks like it's peeking out of the side. All right. Then I've been loving the way like this has been so functional for me um, the past couple of weeks. I'm trying not to think so horizontal on a horizontal and so vertical on a vertical planner because I have the tendency to do that. So I'm trying to definitely, um, you know, switch things up, be a little different sometimes, you know, all that stuff. So I think I want this sticker to go here, go right under there, perfect. And then I want this sticker to be on this side. I'm gonna cut some of that off as well. You guys, do you find yourselves cutting off a lot of the swipe part, um, the uh, offset? of the sticker you guys find yourself cutting off a lot of it um in live love posh i don't do it all the time most of the time i don't most of the time it's just uh i just lay it down now i'm pulling this back up because this is extremely crooked so i just wanted to straighten it up of course cover that little part and then we can have that going there that's fine all right so on this side we're doing something very similar but we're not putting the stickers in the same place. All right, so we're gonna bring this this uh, mustard color like right over here, and it has this cute green sticker layered. Oops, I don't wanna bring pull up the actual washi tape. I just wanna pull this up so I can straighten it. Okay, let's see. We can, okay, go there, perfect. Um, then the next one I want to put down is I want to put this green one down here on this side. And I don't want it to touch that, but I don't mind if it comes under this sticker right here a little bit. So. Oh Lord. All right, so it's up. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna lay this green one right here. Well, we're gonna lay her straight. So let's try to lay her on top of that washi tape and bring that here. Now, I 
do have a another sticker to come down here on this end that I thought could work. And we have this little green box to layer here. I left out this little box to layer over here, bringing all those pops of foil, really bringing them into our spread. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to put her right here. She's cute. And the way she's tilting her hat, I'm here for it. So I think that's cute. I kind of want to put one right here. And I think that will be cute as well. That way we're keeping everything uniform and it looks like fall. Tell me what you guys think about the adding the dolls to this spread. All right, so that completes that portion. The last thing that I typically do, and I am going to leave this color splashes on here because I feel like they can work. But I think the bright yellow, which this is, um, this is paper that goes with trendsetter. So what I typically use this one for is, or this part of the planner is for my Sundays or sermon notes um, that I do. So I figured I could come with this whole big one and lay it right here, right? And just chop off the little bit that's there. Okay. And then on the back here, pull this sticker here to cover up to get it done because there's always a name of the of the um, discourse that we're lis listening to or sermon um, so always 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 and then I thought I'd put this down in the corner here okay and then I'm thinking because I want to tie in some of the roses Put that rose down in that corner. Maybe a little, a little bundle. And then I don't want to put anything, you know, huge or overpowering. Maybe just throw this one in this corner. Cut that one off the page. Perfect. And then over here where we have that portion to tie the rose motif in by putting it up here. And we're gonna cut part of it off, a big portion of it off, maybe too much of it off. Let's see. Let me see if I can turn it where we can get most of the rows on and then cut that little part off. I think I could do that. All right. Okay, so let's look at it all together. So of course, bomb.com, I'm loving that. And then we come here for my daily scripture writing and then boom, y'all, that is so cute to me. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I think this is very overpowering and I don't need to put anything on, on that or anything else. I think it's perfect. So guys, I appreciate you so much for joining me for another edition of Faith Friday. Um, it is quickly becoming one of my very favorite planners to decorate and one of my most used planners, to be honest. So guys, if you um, enjoyed the video, don't forget the three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Ciao, Bela.